Hello guys, my name is Matthew and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can integrate Webflow with HubSpot. First things first, we have to create ourselves an account at webflow.com or log into your existing account. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can make this integration work through a third-party app. In this case, or for this reason, I've decided to use automate.io and yeah, I will leave the link in the description underneath this video. Once we are at automate.io, we want to go to the top corner of our screen and click on integrations. Once we click there, this pop-up window will show up and let's go to the bottom left part of this window and click on see all categories. Once we're in here, we want to search for 200 or more apps. So we want to start with the first app that we want to integrate. In our case, it's Webflow. As you can see, uh, now it's Webflow integrations. We want to pick the second app to integrate Webflow with, and that's HubSpot. Straight away, we are provided with some popular integrations between HubSpot and Webflow. But if we won't be able to find the one that we are looking for, keep scrolling down so you can get to create your own integration. Just remember, on the left side, underneath the triggers, you want to start with Webflow first. You have, there's only one option, so it's pretty easy for you. On the opposite side, underneath the actions, there are only HubSpot options, so let's go with the HubSpot. I mean, let's go with the first one, just to show you how it's done. Once you do that, the only thing that left to do is click on Try It Now button. And as you can see, we are redirected to our signup page where we should log in or register our account at automate.io. And we are basically a few clicks away from finishing this integration. We can also use Zapier.com, which is quite similar app to Automate.io. Uh, once we create account here, let's go to the top left corner and click on Create Zap. Once we're in here, we want to set up a trigger. Same as at Automate, it will start with a Webflow, like this. Now we have to pick the trigger event. There are three options, Continue. Now we want to choose an account at Webflow that we want to integrate. We hit continue. And now we have to uh, choose site name or form name. Uh, once you made some progress with uh, this website that you already created, there will be options for your website and form name. The last thing is just to click the continue finish required fields or just to continue and you'll be asked to fill out the second action. The second action will be powered by HubSpot, obviously. So let's go to HubSpot, also pick the action event, click continue, and last thing is to sign into HubSpot. So that's about it. Thanks for watching and see you on the next video.